Hey guys, it's Clutch here. We're going to do some uh, 2v2s right now. This is the deck I'll be using. I'm going to be joining Flying Chinaman. Let's get our sound up a little bit and we're going to test it out. Uh, one of the neat features is that there's no more card level cap. And for me, that's pretty good, but for some of the people I get stuck playing against, not really so much because unfortunately, like this instance right here, they get stuck having to play against some of my max level cards and that's not necessarily fun for them at all. So we're going to go ahead and wait for this Sparky to come on in and hopefully our uh, boy Flying Chinaman here can, uh, he can do most of the work since I'll be sitting here talking with you guys for the duration of this. We are going to go ahead and pull this back, that way we can kind of get all that in there. And right about here we're going to bring in our Electro Wizard to cancel out that Sparky right there. And it doesn't look like they're about to have a good time because they got a lot of incoming troops coming in at them. Along with that graveyard right there, perfectly timed by Flying Chinaman. And we are able to already go ahead and take out the first tower, just like that. They're laughing because they're not having too much fun. I'm thinking after this one, I'll show you guys how to do some uh, 2v2 troll matches, which is actually a lot of fun if you want to just kind of mess with your opponent that you get stuck playing with, whoever it might be. So, with a minute 40 left, we're just going to go ahead and, oh, look, the log distance is still enough to just barely hit that princess. Worked out well. We're going to get our troops in here, and we're going to go ahead and bring all of that in there together for the tornado, and we're going to get, perfect, we're going to take out his elite barbarians, and we're going to get his royal giant. I am going to send my miner to the other tower, though. That way we have split lanes and we're causing him to be a little bit more distracted than he wants to be. And these guys don't really, they can't keep all their focus on just our troops. So we're kind of splitting them up here. We're not necessarily going for the three crown right away. We're just kind of uh, keep the match going because we're having some fun right now. It's cool because Flying Chinaman isn't in my clan, but he is one of my buddies. And now we can play... Uh, 2v2 together without having to worry about anything and it's a lot more fun this way it's a really neat feature hopefully they decide to keep this feature because it is it's a really good one I, I thoroughly enjoy it and with that his poison will go ahead and take out all those defending troops and we're gonna have all these nice little fire spirits and the poison spell jumping in right into his royal giant so we have nothing to worry about there We'll get our Electro Wizard down, we'll get some of these nice little skeletons down. And we'll go ahead and pull back all this right here. And with 200 health left, I can just sit here and relax for a minute, not have to do anything, not worry, because I'll just go ahead and put a nice little lightning right on their tower, just like that. And that's how you 2v2 with your, uh, your buddies in different clans. We're going to jump into our troll deck next, which should be a lot of fun. We're going to go ahead and do, it's mainly spells, and you just jump into it. You find a quick match that way you can get paired up with anyone at all. And this deck, it's just, it's just mainly spells. There's no specific cards to it. My main thing with trolling is trolling with tornado. All right? And what we're going to do is we're just going to mess around. It's going to probably look like... We're uh, playing serious at first, which we really aren't going to be. We're just trying to wait for them to get a good, strong push in. And then right as they go to, uh, when they get start getting close, we're going to go ahead and tornado all of the troops right to our tower. It's perfect. They got a golem push coming in. Uh, so we're going to troll my teammate here, the final boss. Uh, let's see how much they like it. <laughs> Let's just bring him in closer. <laughs> I'm sorry. It's funny. I, I can't help but laugh at it. <laughs> My opponent's pissed. Let's go ahead and get these troops a little bit closer to our king tower now. There we go. I think at this point they realize that I'm just trolling. It's kind of fun. It's really messed up for whoever you get teamed with. But other things you can do is if they send a log at your princess, you can use the tornado to kind of pull the princess out of the way. Of the danger of the log and it's it's messed up but it is a lot of fun to do just go ahead and try it get a deck together that you just want to have fun with and you might want to troll some people 
and let me know what you guys think. We're going to jump into one live battle here. Uh, the deck I will be using is it's Fireball, Tornado, Miner, Skelly, Night Witch, Executioner, Baby Dragon, and Furnace. So, Alright, so we're going to go ahead and jump into an actual live match now. One of the coolest features about the new 2v2 ladder matches is if you win, you will receive a chest just like any other normal ladder match. And that is awesome. It helps you speed up your chest cycle if you want. And hopefully these new uh, 2v2 ladder matches will also uh, count towards the clan 2v2 uh, crowns. We shall see. There's no way of telling yet, but hopefully, hopefully, they do count because that would be awesome. Luckily, our baby dragon, even though that mini P.E.K.K.A. is getting some serious damage, our baby dragon was there to protect us and to take it out. That way we can get some decent damage on him. And while we wait for his ice wizard to come over the bridge, we're going to get those skeletons on it to kind of distract and help kill it. We will go ahead and place our Executioner down, even though that means he might go switch to the other lane with his Royal Giant. That way we can get our Furnace down. He wasn't, he decided not to uh, switch lanes on us, so that's very good for us. We're gonna go ahead and get our Night Witch, and probably one of the few times I'm ever gonna pull one of these guys to us is when I want to be able to attack it a little bit sooner than waiting because of the supporting troops that he has. Luckily we got our bats on the tower along with our miner so that's going to go ahead and take that tower completely out. And it looks like he's going to go ahead and give up but since we're not uh, too sure yet we will go ahead and build our troops and we're going to start in the back that way we can get a push going. Uh, that way if he decides to change it we might kill his confidence a little bit more here by throwing that Fireball on his Ice Wizard, <laughs> just to mess around. He did activate our King Tower, so clearly he is done. We will go ahead and start a uh, somewhat push going, uh, getting our troops gathered up to just kind of three crown him and see if maybe he wants to fight back. Hopefully he isn't one of those people that uh, tries to come back at the very last second once you have all your, once you've spent all of your elixir. Uh, luckily he isn't, he is just dropping troops because uh, I, I do that too whenever I want to just give up a three crown, I'll uh, just drop troops on the other side. Uh, that's, that's how you three crown a royal giant user, I guess, guys. Get that Night Witch in there and that execution to take out any other troops. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know uh, if you guys decide to do any troll 2v2 ladders and if you uh, come up with any new tornado tactics to kind of mess with your teammate possibly. And let me know if you guys enjoyed the update or whatnot. Alright, you guys all have a wonderful day.